Hey, Pastor Marcia here. Welcome to Mill Creek Kids at Home. We're so excited to have you back with us this week. We've got lots of fun things planned. Woohoo! We'll see you at the end. All right, so we're going to sing a song, This is the Day. You guys are going to follow me, and then you're going to follow them. It'll start by me and the echoes. So you guys are my echoes today, right? Yep. Okay. This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. This is the day. This is the day.
Today, we're going to continue learning about the fruits of the Spirit. This week, we're going to learn about kindness and goodness. So watch the story, and we'll be back. Stories of the Bible, Zacchaeus. This is Zacchaeus. Hey there. Who was a tax collector and very rich. Tax collectors were hated because many people thought they were liars and cheaters. Boo. <laughs> Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and one day, Jesus was passing through Jericho. What's going on? Jesus is here, woohoo! Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. But he was too short to see above the crowd. Ah, oh, that's it. So he ran ahead to a place where he knew Jesus would come. He climbed to a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Oh, hey there, friend. Who? Me? Yeah, you. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Oh, all right. Zacchaeus came down quickly. He was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Ugh. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I will give half my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, Salvation has come to this house today. What? This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and save them. Welcome back. Wasn't that a great story? I love that story. And one of the things I like most about it is the way that Jesus picked Zacchaeus out because others may not, not have chosen to be quite so kind to him. Not only was he just a little guy, but he was also a tax collector, which means that he used to take some money that was needing to give to the Roman government. And sometimes they would like take a little extra for themselves and put it in their pocket. And Jesus knew that about Zacchaeus because he knows about us. He knows about the things that we don't do right. But Jesus was very kind to him. And he said, you know what, Zacchaeus, I want to go and I want to spend some time with you. And because of the kindness that Jesus showed him, isn't it interesting what happened to Zacchaeus's heart? Not only did he feel that amazing feeling that you feel when you're forgiven, but in turn, what did he do? He turned around and he returned all the money that he had stolen from anyone he had stolen from. And not only did he return what he stole, he gave them four times the amount of money back. That's pretty amazing. I think it's really neat to see how when we are kind to other people, the response that they have, not only are they grateful, but they then turn around and do amazing kind things for other people too. So something to think about. We're gonna go into our Bible verse now, so we'll see you next week with another story. We are going to learn this week, Galatians 5, 22 through 23. So watch the screen and let's all read it out loud together. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. All right, let's try it again with a couple words gone. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22, and 23. Here we go again. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22, and 23. Okay, you guys, one more time. 
Everybody together now, no slackers. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22, and 23. All right, keep practicing. We're going to do it again next week. Welcome back to Craft Corner. Today, we're going to make confetti poppers. I love Which are really, really fun. You can either use a toilet paper tube, or today we decided, because we use them a lot with our crafts, we're gonna use paper cups. And the very first thing you're gonna do is take, have your parent help you with this one. Take your scissor and poke a hole in the bottom of your cup. Very good, Ashley. And then you're going to cut out or rip out. Sometimes it's easier just to get your hands in there. And you're gonna rip out the bottom. Is yours already done, Marsha? I already did mine. So see, Marsha's is already done. So once that's done, you're going to take a balloon that hasn't been blown up yet, and you're going to what do you, do you usually I tie, tie the knot first. first. So you can tie the knot in the end that you would normally blow in. And then it helps you remember which end to cut, because I've cut the wrong end before. Yeah, that would that would be a little challenging. Exactly. So you're gonna like basically just tie a knot in the bottom of the balloon. And then on the other end, you're just going to cut the top off. Kind of like that. So that it opens like this. And then that's going to fit over the end that you cut off from the bottom of the cup, right? And yes. then in order to hold that, you're going to need some pretty strong tape because you're going to be pulling back on that balloon and you're going to want to make sure that it's going to hold on tight to your cup. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a little hat. Yeah. And then you're going to make some confetti, or you can buy some confetti, but we like making it because it's fun. Uh, we've got two different colors of paper, and I just took my pap papers and I just kind of like folded them over so I could kind of make it fast. And then I'm just gonna cut up some little pieces of confetti. And I'm just tearing mine up. That's what I like to do. You can do whatever you can how pieces. make it however. And I didn't you really want to want pick it. up such little pieces, so I cut mine bigger. Ooh, that's a smart mom right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Okay. I mean like what? And you, then you what what do you do with the marshal? You put you it, put inside, it inside, the inside and you load your confetti. Load it up. Okay, I'm, Ash. I'm almost ready. Okay, let's get ready. We'll, we'll do it on three. Okay. Wait, do we go one, two, three or three, two, one? One, two, on three, three, one, two, three, three, let go. One, two, three, let go. Okay. One, two, three, let go. Okay. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> we should have done that last. I know, I was just thinking that. But that's okay. That was really fun that and was very satisfying. Really fun. That was awesome. And if you don't want to do that, if your mom's like, no, you can get pom-poms, all right? Get your pom-pom in there and you can, woo! Whoa. Right in the, that one's good right in the chest. <laughs> woo! Okay. Excellent. So. We're celebrating kindness. We are. We're gonna we're, celebrate. We're spreading. When you see kindness, when you see your sibling be kind, kindness. celebrate. When you see a friend be kind yep. or a parent be kind, you can celebrate them. Celebrate. 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 Celebrate good times. Come, Come on. on. It's a celebration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's so much fun. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.